Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Rebecca Pryor. President Trump addressing the nation this morning, announcing a major development in the war on terror. We take you inside the dramatic military raid that killed ISIS leader Baghdadi in our top story. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi was America's most wanted man in the war on ISIS, a $25 million bounty on his head. Last night, the United States brought the world's number one terrorist leader to justice. Al-Baghdadi was targeted by U.S. Special Operation Forces in Syria on Saturday. The U.S. personnel were incredible. I got to watch much of it. No personnel were lost in the operation. Al-Baghdadi became the face of the terror group in the summer of 2014, inspiring his followers to shock the world with social media videos depicting gruesome killings. History will regard Baghdadi, first of all, uh, as a bloodthirsty tyrant. I mean, during his reign, uh, his organization conquered a vast stretch of territory, ruled over something like five million people, and he imposed his iron will and executed anyone who stood in his way. Among his victims, four young Americans taken hostage in Syria. James Foley, Stephen Sotloff, Peter Kasig, and Kayla Muller, whose parents say Baghdadi took their daughter as his sex slave before she died in captivity. A brutal killer, one who has caused so much hardship and death, has violently been eliminated. He will never again harm another innocent man, woman, or child. U.S. Special Forces nearly killed al-Baghdadi in August 2017, but one month later he released an audio recording proving that he was in fact still alive. Ty Hernandez, ABC News, New York.